So have you ever wanted to mount a front rack to your bike, but you can't due to an incompatible bike or even maybe an incompatible rack? Yeah, it's frustrating. But hey, no worries. Velo Orange came up with the solution with their utility bar and utility rack. Let's get into it. Before we dive into it, I just want to let you all know that this video is partially supported by Terrabelle Tires. What do you look for in an all-around gravel ride and race tire? We probably agree it should roll fast, corner confidently, and offer a no-stress tubeless setup. Terrabelle designed the Cannonball with all of those features in mind, so the Cannonball is definitely a worthy consideration if you are looking for a well-balanced gravel tire. So to learn a little bit more about the Cannonball or Terrabelle, make sure to hit this card right here, or you can also find a link in the description below. So the heat-treated chromoly steel utility bar comes in two options, a flat bar version and this riser bar version that you see here. Both are available in black or silver finishes, and I tested the black riser bar uh, option, so I'll mainly be speaking on that bar in this video. That said, both bars have a 31.8 diameter stem clamp, 15 millimeter back sweep, and 780 millimeter widths. The riser is obviously a little different as it comes with 69 millimeters of rise, putting riders in much more of an upright position. Uh, both bars, both the flat and riser bar, are rated and approved for mountain biking. The unique offering here from Velo Orange is not necessarily the riser option, but it's the mounts on the bar. So the riser bar has what they call alien eye mounts that protrude upward from the bar itself. It also comes with two mounts inside the bar. These mounts are so that you can fit their sold separately utility rack, a unique L-shaped rack that mounts to the utility bar using four M5 bolts. The utility rack is also made out of steel and is adjustable, offering a few mounting orientations. You've got tall and shallow, or long and low, which offers more vertical adjustment. Each mounting position also slides, providing a little bit more micro adjustment. All right, so those handlebar eyelets also double as bottle cage mounts on the rider side of the bar, making for a super convenient position for, say, a bottle or a beverage of choice or additional storage. When mounting to the four positions, the rack has a weight capacity of 15 pounds, or just about the weight of a 12 pack. I decided it would be a good idea to test this system on my surly grappler commuter kid hauler bike, as I use this bike for basically a little bit of everything. I messed around with the rack in a few positions, but I definitely enjoyed using it in the long and low position as it puts the weight lower on the rack. The utility rack and bar certainly took some uh, getting used to, I guess, as the rack mounts so high up on the bar, making your load feel a bit top heavy. I did briefly install the rack using just the two lower mounting points on the bar instead of all four. And uh, I found that it was significantly less stable, so I moved back to the four positions as it was designed for. All right, so after a few days of riding, like most things, you get used to it. Um, and I got used to the weight being a little bit higher. The bars are noticeably heavier than what I had on there previously, which was also a factor in getting used to this system. But what I really noticed from these bars after swapping from an older flat bar was the rise. The utility bar definitely put me in a very upright, comfortable position with that rise and back sweep. So as for the rack, I used it to carry a lot of things. Bread, beer, beans, boxes. It can handle other non-B words as well, but I like the Bs. <laughs> the cool thing about this system is it already has a very supportive platform to strap your cargo to. All you might need is some straps or bungees, whereas a rack is a little bit more limited right off the bat. I even added a walled basket with some zip ties, which worked really well going just to, say, the farmer's market or the post office. However, if I was to change a few things, I would definitely make the bar slightly longer or wider, uh, perhaps going to a 800 millimeter width bar. And I would also try to lower the load, uh, but this would either mean redesigning designing the rack or putting those alien mounts maybe underneath uh, the other mounts, it might look weird, I don't know. Overall, the system felt solid with or without a load. Uh, the bolt stayed in place and the rack is in pretty good shape even after a few slow tumbles 
in the garage here. And while I didn't get around to using it while bikepacking, I would certainly feel comfortable rocking this setup in an extended trip. Plus with the redundancies and all these mounting options and bolts, you can definitely configure it in a way to get out of a situation if something did break. That all said, uh, it is a bit heavy compared to other, say, handlebar systems, not rack systems. Um, so just keep that in mind. I thoroughly enjoyed using the utility bar and rack this summer. It offers loads of versatility, works on almost any bike, and is an absolute cinch to install, which is not something that you can always say with a front rack. The riser bar comes in at 697 grams and the rack 573 grams with those four bolts. The bar comes in at 130 USD, the rack 90 USD, so 220 USD for the kit, which is basically right in line with an alternative style, the top loader. All right, so what do you think about the utility bar and utility rack? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And consider joining the Bikepacking Collective. Support from our members helps sustain this channel and everything we do here at bikepacking.com. The Collective has a lot of awesome perks, including the twice annual Bikepacking Journal. So for more details, you can click on the card in the top right corner, or also find the link in the description below. As always, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, pedal further.